Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. And uh, rainy days, as they are, got me out shopping. So we got ourselves quite a few actual hauls. I'm going to break these down into individual videos. But uh, today, let's see what I got for my uh, one of my favorite low-budget shopping excursions. Another trip to the old orange sticker Ollie's. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we're going to see what kind of goodies we have to add to our Christmas in July. Thanks for that. As I said, um, I went to uh, Ollie's. It's been raining off and on all, all basically all week, all month. Um, so I decided, you know, what the heck, might as well go out. And they had another one of their flyers with some fishing drops. Um, as they, as, if you don't know what Ollie's is, it's a bargain outlet store. They buy overstock uh, of items and from stores that are closing or warehouse overstocks. And then they, they offer them to you at a, at a discount. Last time I was there, I got those uh, those awesome bat baits that are really hard to come by. I think they're like $16 a piece normally. I got them for 5 bucks each. It is a great way to get lures um, for a budget. <clears throat> and being that we're in spring and the bass are spawning on their way, I figure this is a good way to add to our collections, uh, stock up on things we may have run out of, uh, you know, and, and trying to mimic key kellers that you might not have had. Uh, or you lost, you know, along along last year's trips, um, so I can restock with the color patterns that I want. Maybe not exactly the same bait, you know, but they'll fill in. Uh, and at the same time, you get a whole bunch of goodies that I can add to that Christmas in July giveaway. So we'll start off here with our first item from uh, Lucky Craft, which is a JDM, which I love. I love JDM products. Uh, for six dollars and ninety nine cents, I got this uh, flat side little crankbait so uh one of the key reasons i started with this and <clears throat> for all of y'all that have the monster bass uh, su uh subscriptions um maybe not last month but the month before they had that crankbait that uh they gave a 15 dollar premium to it was nothing more than a red craw pattern with a little bit of gold added to it um as a craw pattern bait, and I saw this in Ollie's, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, for $7, I can get basically the identical crankbait. <clears throat> so I've got this one. This one happens to be a three to four foot diver. Uh, it is, it's a floating, they call it Disco from Lucky Craft. And it is just a double trouble, nice wobbling, lipped crankbait, and there is that red pattern with that gold. And I didn't pay $10 for some no-name Monster Bass brand. And I sure as heck didn't pay $15, a $5 premium paint to throw some gold spray paint on it. Um, you could have easily have gone, it's a silent version, you could have easily have gone out and found a red crankbait in any brand you like. Uh, Lucky Craft, Strike Pro, um, you know, what have you, KVD. Um, and then got yourself a little piece of cardboard or even some masking tape and then use an exacto knife and cut out the little gill uh, or the little patterns. Got yourself a can of gold spray paint at the hobby store or paintbrush and paint, and paint for Hobby Lobby and thrown that gold in there. Got the same thing for a four dollar crankbait at Walmart or you know what have you. I just thought it was not very reputable that they were trying to hawk that uh, that Chineseium bait. Um, from Monster Bass and say it was a $15 bait. You guys really did get uh, get sort of short struck there on uh, on that deal. <clears throat> so I thought this was kind of a kind of funny that I saw this there and I just right off caught my eye. So first bait I saw, first bait I'm showing you. So there's that for six dollars and ninety nine cents. By the way, I did have a 10% off coupon. So all these things you can cut another 10% off of every price. Um, so I got that as a bonus. Um, another Lucky Craft from Lucky Craft USA, the American arm of the JDM side. They have this uh, little chartreuse and white. This one's the Fat CB BDS 1. 
So this is a chartreuse shad floating again. This is a one to two foot shallow diving crankbait, smaller profile, but they're both in that, in that fat CB um, style. So they're a little bit bulkier profile. And with the spring, fish are going for a larger meal, a larger bite, less energy, higher ca calorie content. And they're gonna go for those strikes over, you know, a lot of little tiny itty bitty finesse stuff. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in there because that's going in definitely going into the uh, into the kit. <clears throat> we got ourselves another pit bull 7.5. I got this I think the last time I was out there. Um, Three dollars and ninety nine cents on this guy. Another great crankbait. 7.5 size. Um, it uh, dives. Well, they got the sticker over it. I, f I remember correctly. This was um, an eight foot diver because it's a, it's got a pretty wide bill. I think this goes to one, one to eight foot. Um, on on uh, on the diving length of this, if I recall from the last time, nice craw pattern in that kind of root beer color craw with that shiny silvery white bottom. Uh, oh, 7.5 feet. So yeah, one to 7.5 feet. <clears throat> so there's that. This one here, three dollars and ninety nine cents. Also, um, I'm gonna pull this sticker off so you can get a better look at it. So this one from Norman Lures. So this is a, what is it, an LN? Uh, MN. MN, it's a two inch, three eighths ounce, and it goes six to eight foot. It's a Norman Lures little, now this one I like because, I'll pull it out of here. Um, this one is a um, transparent, translucent, semi-transparent, um, little craw pattern. I like that that'll give you that, uh, you know, the ability to see, you can see my finger passing behind it there just a, a wee little bit. You can see how it's dark and then all of a sudden you can see the, the red passing through it. So that little bit that when you're, you're floating this through, the light will go through, give you that translucent path. Um, it definitely will react with the light a lot differently than your standard solid tones. Again, same kind of brown root beer color with the craw pattern paint scheme. Uh, three ninety nine. I thought that was a great buy. I like to run my red craw patterns right now. Um, you know, May, April, May, when the spawns there, when the crawfish are just coming out. As the crawfish are more out of their, uh, you know, out of their winter holes and out running around, and they start changing colors and start patterning themselves back in as the grass flourishes and the moss flourishes, and they start going to those more earthy tones, then I'll switch over to these root beer colored uh, baits. Um, another one, here's a bad shad. This is a uh, eight and a half foot, two and three quarter, one third ounce bait. This is more of a deep diver for you guys out there that have deeper waters. Um, I like this, this has got that copper chrome color too. So this adds a lot of flash if you have dirty stained muddy water and you want to run uh, again it's got that crawfish pattern but this will go with anything um, because it's got that shiny crow or copperish uh, color so this definitely adds flash to muddy water four dollars 99 cents couldn't beat that so i got one of those uh, again uh, similar to that first one uh, this one for 6.99 this one is an lg 1.5 by lucky craft so this is a three to four foot diver um, again, it's that crawfish pattern, but it's got that gold, that gold uh, paint scheme in there. I like that. They call this the Rayburn Red, obviously. Uh, it's not Road Red, it's Rayburn Red, but uh, I like that one, so I just had to grab it. While I was there, I got, this was a big haul of treble baits, so, you know, this is more towards uh, going in. We got another dredger. This is a 10.5. I don't know. This splatterback. White splatterback paint schemes, I love. I love splatterback shads. I love um, um, just the white with the chartreuse on the belly and that black splatterback have always been pretty good. Um, bait colors combinations for me. But I saw this out there. It's a little deep diving for me, um, uh, 9 to 11 feet. But, uh, you know, I can run it on braid. It'll float. Um, and if I, you know, if I try to burn it a little, well, not burn it because it'll, it'll sink down, but... If I try to just kind of ease it into places that I know are deep enough, I think I can uh, I can get this down there, take it off of some rocks, 
um, you know, in that eight, nine foot areas. Doesn't have to dig it all the way down to, to the 11 foot, uh, you know. But if I do get out on the boat, I can uh, certainly get out to those deeper areas of the lakes and, uh, and give it a shot in some deep water. Again, it's a smaller profile. You don't, I always have to use large profiles in deep water. Sometimes I go to tiny little, little things. We'll see how that does. I've got the War Pig Quarter. So this one from Berkeley Fusion, um, this is Fool's Gold Color, which is a, a color that I've never actually tried before, but I thought it caught my eye. It's kind of this cross between a chartreuse and a gold, and it's got this nice orange belly, and it's a nice loud rattler. Um, I thought this was really cool lipless. Uh, definitely going to add this to my rattle trap arsenal, just because that's a, an interesting, got that shad spot on there. Um, it's just an art, uh, a different profile and a different shape and, and uh, color scheme than I'm accustomed to. I've never actually had anything with this kind of yellowish gold. I've seen like copper golds um, and of course bright chartreuses, but this was just an interesting color that caught my eye. So I'm happy to add that. Oop. Drop it on the carpet. Happy to add that to my uh, to my rattle trap collection. And again, this one, um, this is a two and three eighths inch quarter ounce. So looking forward to throwing that throughout the year. I got two awesome little covert size or size series series. Uh, $5.99 each. Um, these are awesome little spinner baits. I love Colorado willow willows. These have big, big willow leaf blades on the back end which, uh, or this one does, and this one has two moderate, you know, medium-sized willows. This one has that nice Colorado with that huge willow, uh, you know, floating behind it. I think this is going to be great. Um, this is from Hildebrandt series. They use the Hildebrandt blades. I love Hildebrandt blades. Um, they're one of the better blade manufacturers, um, and I just, I love them. So, Booyah's Covert series. I got the large one with the willow. has a half ounce, but again, that big blade should be able to help keep it rise. And uh, the three quarters in the chartreuse pattern with the double willow. So that's interesting to me. And I got a little kit here of uh, spinner blades, or spinner baits, I should say, with included little worm trailers. So this is the spinner bait kit. It's 15 pieces quarter ounce for $5.99. Comes with three nice little medium size or, you know, spinners. You got that Colorado willow like I like so much. Colorado adds thump, willow adds the flash. And they come with these long little trailers that match up pretty nicely. You've got your white with a red, which will work well here. And you've got these chartreuses, which will work really good on the other two versions. So I thought I'd throw that. Maybe if you, you know, have a young and you can give him these, he can go out um, in some open water, throw, get some, some spinner bait catches because uh, not everything's top water not everything is crawling a you know a football head jig on the bottom sometimes you got to get those mid column uh, baits out there and I like to use spinner baits and, and of course chatter baits for my mid water column fishing speaking of jigs and dragging we got ourselves a nice little uh, little jig here this is the scrounger um, so it's basically Similar to like your, you know, your your bladed jigs, but with a little bit of difference. I'm a lot of people have seen the scroungers, so they have these rubbery soft cups on a basic little little uh, little jig, a little ball head jig. It's got a single wire keeper on the back, nice green pumpkin and red. So it's got that bleeding bleeding gill kind of color. Throw a nice little uh, blue gill style uh, paddle tail or blue gill flute tail. Um, uh, trailer on here and that little scrounger kind of just plows through the water and gives a little bit of a wiggling action and uh, I have had pretty good success with scrounger style jigs so uh, I thought I'd give this one a try and I couldn't beat the price on it it was only a dollar ninety nine so that's what I picked up at Ollie's when I was there um, some of these things are going to go into our giveaway uh, obviously definitely the spinner blades a uh, couple of the baits, the cranks there are going to go in, and uh, I've got lots more in store and from stores, and some things that aren't from stores. Um, so I got something from a local handmade 
uh, and very ecologically and economically savvy uh, gentleman that uh, actually is the, the father-in-law of a co-worker. So uh, I got that coming up shortly. I'm going to do a little reveal video on that. And uh, I hope you've all enjoyed. This was a real quick 10-minute video. Just a little quick shopping trip. Um, I hope all of you are having better weather. I hope you have some, uh, some nice fishing out there. Unfortunately, right now, we're in a bunch of storms. But as is all spring, rain, muddy water, rising tides. But uh, for all of you out there, tight lines, best of luck. Tell me what you think about this haul. And uh, as always, I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, Alex. Get the tell, but that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climbed too high to fall, went too hard to drop.